Hi everyone, how are you all? Welcome back to a routine video after a short break, I can say. It's been a while and I'm back on track with my homely routine. I had some organizing and arrangements to be made after we were back in Musket from Qatar. And before anything, thank you so much for loving my last Qatar vlog, which is a special video for me. I had included glimpses of the moments we spent there with my brother and family. We are still missing them. Anyways, we are back and I'm back to my routine vlogs. This video was taken on a weekday. So on a weekday, it's always a 5 a.m. routine for me. Riha needs to leave home by 6.30. I try to do some breakfast preparations the night before to avoid the last minute rush or the morning hustle. Already had some chapatis left over from previous dinner and soon ideas that come to my mind are wraps, especially adding eggs. Here I'm not wrapping it but made it like a pizza. So for this I chopped some garlic, onion and coriander leaves. I used one egg per person, so break one egg in a bowl. Now if there's an eggshell that has fallen into the broken egg, it becomes hard to take it out. So a tip for that is wet your finger and then remove. It becomes easy. Please ignore if you already know this. Whisk the egg with salt and black pepper. A tip I got from many of you is to fry an egg in iron tawa to help anything to come off from it easily. And I even have heard about this from my mother-in-law. Anyways, now when I think I need a seasoning for my iron tawa, I fry an egg in this. Sprinkle the chopped ingredients and some cheese. Here I've used mozzarella cheese. Place one chapati on top of the egg. The egg was spread more than the chapati size. So I trim those part. Then later after flipping the egg, along with the chapati. I placed the trimmed parts on top. Then added some more cheese so that the second chapati will stick to the egg. Make sure flame is low. After few minutes I took out and then sliced to four parts. Some of you had asked about the stainless steel tiffin box that my kids carry to school. I had bought this from Amazon India on my last vacation. We'll share the link in the description box. It's a good quality one. These are french fries that's air fried. So placing those in the small container. It has lid but today not using it. And this tiffin bag is from Lulu. I try to keep the tiffin boxes in tiffin bags for them in case of any leakage and moreover they need fruit and snack for their second break so it's easy to pack all in one if you have a tiffin bag. Rehan leaves to school first. His bus leaves by 6.30 so he needs to go a few minutes back. Arman has got an hour left to go. As the breakfast for today was an easy one, I took some rest. Had my glass of warm water and a banana. I was not able to work out from Qatar and was totally out of track in my routine. And it's okay to take a break sometimes as far as you know that you can come back and start the usual routine. But we all were taking steps at least 8,000 to 10,000 steps per day. 
as we were walking and walking while enjoying the days. So there was some kind of activity that we were doing and something is always better than doing nothing. And now I'm back to workouts. Though my eating habits still need improvement, it's always better to be slow and steady than rapid changes. Normally, Arman eats either cereals or a glass of milk or a fruit before leaving school. His break time is around 10, so he will have to be on an empty stomach till that time if he doesn't eat anything before leaving. Today, he wanted banana milkshake. On some days, I give him avil milk where I add some flattened rice or poha. That's quite filling as well. As chapati was over, I had to prepare something else for me and my husband. Had very little dosa batter left in the fridge, so I added a bit of water, which wasn't much of a good idea. Anyways, I had no other option to increase the quantity. And to that made green coconut chutney. So blended grated coconut with some curd, coriander leaves, green chilies, ginger, shallots, warm water along with some salt. For tempering it, spluttering mustard seeds first, then frying curry leaves and dried red chilies in hot coconut oil. I add the tempering into the mixer first and cover for few minutes. Had bought grated coconut from the market, I loosely pack it in another container so that it's easy to remove after it's stored in the freezer. I didn't want to tightly pack, so didn't add the third box into it. And there we are, having our breakfast together. Only after preparing the coconut chutney, I realized there was some leftover crab curry from the previous dinner. Any non-witch curry tastes better or the best the next day. And to have it with dosa or any rice dishes is the best for breakfast. I eat from the plate initially. It's always heavenly to have it from the pot itself. It's getting really hot these days here in Oman. Summer has hit early, I guess. 
So not always I do this but on some days when I feel exhausted or tired from the heat coming I close all the windows that I had opened early morning then switch on the fan and air conditioner This helps in cooling the apartment on the whole I keep it for half an hour and then switch off In between I take a break and at this time it's mainly a call with my mom My sister-in-law has started working. She is a dentist in the same clinic of my brother, so my niece will be with my parents. So I give a call and have a chat for a while. It's either a call to my mom alone or a group call where I get to see everyone including my elder brother and family. had some cleaning left in the kitchen and then started for lunch i usually get into the kitchen around at 10:30 or 11 depending on what i'm preparing in between had a fruit Sometimes fruits can be a bit boring to have as such. So for orange I sprinkled a bit of salt, crushed black pepper and Kashmiri red chili powder. Mix and this tastes good. I bought this jeera shala rice bran for the first time. I normally like to try different brands of rice and know the quality of each. Only then I can choose the best when I have guessed at home. I took 2 cups, washed and drained. Usually this rice needn't be soaked in water. Even washing and draining isn't required initially. I did to save time. I forgot to mention the menu. I'm preparing veg pulao with a chicken dish that's all the way from my childhood. Me and my mom had once seen this recipe from a magazine named Vanita, which is still in the market. The recipe name was Chicken 65, but I don't think this tasted anywhere like the Chicken 65 we get in restaurants. And I had once shown this recipe during my initial YouTube journey where there was no clarity in my videos. If you had been watching me from that long, you might have seen that video. Anyways, recreating it again here. Beginning with veg pulao, you will have to crush a small piece of ginger, 4 to 5 cloves of garlic and 3 green chilies. Slice two onions thinly. Now heat 1 or 2 tablespoon of vegetable oil. and 2 or 3 tablespoons of ghee then add whole spices i'll mention all the ingredients in the description box after a few seconds add the crushed ingredients and saute it in the raw smell goes Now add the sliced onion and saute well on medium high flame for some time. Later reduce the flame and saute till it's light brown shade. The onion is light brown now. Add one teaspoon red chili powder, two teaspoon Kashmiri red chili powder, half teaspoon garam masala powder, one teaspoon coriander powder, and half teaspoon turmeric powder. 
mix well till the raw smell goes and make sure flame is low so that it doesn't burn. Now add sliced tomatoes. I use two small that's thinly sliced. Add salt and mix. Add just a glass of water and mix. Let the tomatoes go soft and mushy. Now for the vegetables you can add your choice. I use two small potatoes, one medium carrot and few green peas. This is all done. Tomatoes are completely cooked to soft. Now add the cubed vegetables. Mix well. Adding little bit of water again and mix well. Let the potatoes cook halfway. It takes around 5 minutes on low medium flame. Make sure you give a mix in between. Chop some coriander leaves and add. After the potatoes are half done, add one cup curd. Remove lumps by whisking it. Now continuously mix for two to three minutes on low flame. For two cups rice, add four cups hot water. Check salt and add more if needed. You may fry cashews and raisins and garnish at the end. Here I add it to the water. Add the drained rice. Do not over mix it. Just a gentle mix of the rice that was on top. That's enough. Keep on high flame till it starts boiling and then reduce the flame to very low. Cook till the water completely evaporates. Moving on to the chicken, this is 1 kilo chicken pieces, marinate it with crushed ginger garlic and green chilies along with some salt, crushed black pepper, garam masala powder and turmeric powder. Marinate for 5 to 10 minutes. Check the water level with a spatula. Heat some oil, preferably vegetable oil and shallow fry the chicken pieces. The rice is done. Give a gentle mix all over and then turn off the flame. Now take 5 small to medium tomatoes. Basically for this recipe you need half kilo tomatoes for one kilo chicken. That's a measurement for it. Blend to a puree. Slit four or five green chilies. You can use the same oil that you use for frying the chicken. As time was running out, I had to use separate. Heat and fry a handful curry leaves and the slit green chilies for a minute on low flame. Add the blend tomato and mix. Now cook till it's done. You can see a change in color of the tomato puree. This needs to be cooked for 5 minutes on low flame. Now add fried chicken pieces and mix. There's salt in the chicken pieces, so add accordingly. 
Let this sit in the puree and cook for another 2 minutes on low flame. That's done. For a quick dressing for the salad, add a tablespoon of mustard sauce, one tablespoon chili sauce, one and a half tablespoon balsamic vinegar, around one to one and a half tablespoon olive oil, half teaspoon crushed black pepper, some salt, and whisk well. Now add chopped lettuce, cabbage, and cucumber. The salad veggies is your choice, and so is your dressing. For a crunch, I crush few peanuts and add it. You may add a tablespoon of peanut butter instead of whole peanuts. Mix everything well and chill before serving. My husband would be late to come and even Rehan comes an hour after Arman. Arman was feeling hungry so we both accompanied each other for lunch. Now this veg pulao was made keeping in mind of my veg subscribers and viewers who always request to post veg recipes. So this is for you and if you are a non-veg then this combination is really good. Do give it a try. Now this chicken dish can be had with chapatis, rotis, naans or even plain rice. Evenings are always moody, sometimes dull and sleepy. I rarely sleep in the evenings nor in the mornings after kids leave to school. But if I am very tired, I take a short nap or what we say power nap to refresh and that's in the evenings. To be honest, I don't know why but I feel even more dull after the power nap. That actually stops me from taking naps. So I prefer to fully rest by lying down or sit somewhere and enjoy sitting simply doing nothing. Do let me know in the comment section what you prefer to do during your rest time. While kids are in their online tuitions, I make them their favorite chocolate milk. Whenever I buy Horlicks or Boost, they love to drink it for 2 or 3 days and then they don't need it. It goes waste all the time. So I stopped buying those and give a try for this chocolate mix and they enjoy each time I give them. Earlier I had bought Cadbury one, for a change bought Galaxy. And this is just to add a flavor to the milk. I add just half a tablespoon or a little more. I don't add one tablespoon completely to each glass.
As I said earlier, though my workout routine is on track, I still need to come back to my healthy eating routine. I'm still in ATP and I'm glad that I'm still with them because I don't have to go gym. If at all I join a gym, I'm sure I will work out only once or twice a week. But with this online program, I'm able to do if not 6 days, at least 5 days a week without fail. So that's all for today's video and I hope you all enjoyed watching it. We'll try to get back with vlogs regularly and more recipes. Take care everyone. See you. Bye-bye.